Here it is, guys. Who do this here with Big Man himself, killing it on his new tune mat. Somewhat new tune mat. New to me, seeing it. What do you got today, Big Man? Today we're rocking with Goatee. Let's get it. All right. Straight into it. Yeah. Um, yeah it's on it. We're gonna run two zap, three shift, and three paces. They're your banish fodder. You want to put them in the graveyard and then bring them back out on your opponent's standby just so you can do some synchro summoning shenanigans. Hopefully get to a board wipe. Uh, we're gonna go two exit, one e knock, and three snopius. And that uh, rounds up the lineup for the goatees, for the monsters. Enoch banishes your small fish when they touch the grave. Zeep special summons itself when a fish is banished. And Enoch is a spell trap retrieval. So if you use one of your spells and traps and they end up in the grave, you can Enoch it back. That is all the fish, well, the goatee fish. Next, we're on free abyss shirt, free special and search extends. Um, you can go into some nice stuff into the extra deck if you can get into it. One Maruka, uh, two Silent Angler. Simply just all toolbox for extension, just so you can get to your synchro summons and get your bigger levels on your opponent's turn. Right. Three beef tunifle. Its purpose is literally to get you into the leaf fish because you want to open the leaf fish. Leaf fish is a one card combo. Your starter, main starter for the deck. Um, sends one of your fish, banishes a fish, uh, just gets everything started with the leaf fish. For the goatee spells and traps, one cosmos, one chain, one fury. It's just utility. It doesn't come up all the time, but sometimes uh, you'd, you'd rather have it and not need it than need it and not have it. And then three, the most distant, deepest steps. It's a searcher. It's a recursion for your cards. It's just all good. That's it for all the goatee stuff. Now we're going to move into our interruption. Shifter, because you want to banish your fish. Your fish can survive. Anything in this deck can survive under Shifter. It actually helps you get your little fish into the graveyard when you can't find a way to do it. Solemn Judgment, because this deck goes first and struggles against back row or negates. So you want to cut those off right away. Yes, that's what it's called. Uh, feather Duster, because you struggle against back row, so you want to clear that shit right out of the way. And Two Pot of Desires, because you don't really need the drop power, but in case you draw it, it's nice to have. Let's go to the side deck. Side deck, uh, so this deck goes first, so you want going second cards on your side. I've got Imperms for the Negates, Lightning Storm for back row and monster removal. Droll because it's just the format for it. Evenly matched because you don't want to go up against too strong of a board with a bunch of negates. And Book of Eclipse to book your opponent's monsters so you can go ahead and get to the deep beyond. It's a pretty impressive side. How come you uh, don't main the imperms as opposed to siding up? Because I'd much rather have the judgments on main uh, just so I'm going first. I can set up the judgments and stop my opponent from initiating. It's a little stronger because... You find a little bit of something for everything is better than just solely one aspect of being a game. That's completely understandable. Correct. Works as a good hand trap going second, so I see where you're trying to be mindful. Yes, sir. All right, let's move into the extra deck. For our goatee monsters, we've got three Anop uh, Orion Opus, one of the Google, and today I ran three Azkam, and two goatee of the deep. So, your main starter is the Orionopos. You get that out on your opponent's board. Hopefully you have another fish to synchro into. This is Battle Tricks. It banishes an opponent's card in, uh, before the damage step. Azcan is banishing, so you go into your Azcan, banish something on your opponent's field, banish the Azcan. Azcan brings itself back, and Deep Return is the star of the show. Um, 
Ebion will send, banish everything on the field and then bring himself back into standby. He also gains 500 attack and defense for each banished monster, not just your own. If I had to change anything for this locals, which I am going to now, is I'm going to drop one of the Azcans because you don't need the three, and I'm going to replace it with a White Aura Whale. Because White Aura Whale is just nuts. Aside from that slight change, do you find yourself hindered by any of the, any of the other goatee numbers? Um, so the numbers for the rest of the goatee is fine. You want to have the three uh, already in outpost because if you get interrupted and you don't have a way to go into a six, your deck kind of crumbles sometimes. So you always want to have the extra one. The two deep beyond just seems like a sweet spot because if you can get one deep beyond out and it keeps recurring itself, you don't really need the second. But if your, uh, your first deep beyond gets outed and you can't get into it again, you're losing one of your major win conditions. So I feel two is a nice sweet spot. This might be a flex spot to cut for something else. Maybe like a white or a dolphin. But it's what I've got, so I ran it. And then the two as cans, they're always nice because you can always take something off your opponent's field and then bring the as can back for that little extra push. Uh, Dolphin is self-explanatory. It's just nuts in water decks. So for the non-goatee extra deck, we have Chenye, because it gains attack for banished things. We like to banish things. It's always nice to have that to go into. Uh, I always, almost always want to go into the Deep Beyond over the Chen Ying, but it's a good utility to have. Uh, star of the show today for me a few times was the Rudy Rose Dragon, because it sends both the graveyards to the Banish Pile, and then if you can get enough monsters in the Banish Pile, then you can get a pretty goddamn huge Deep Beyond. I think I boosted them up to 12,000 once today, just in the grind game. So Rudy Rose... I feel like it's mandatory. And then for the rest of the extra deck, we've got Ice Jade Grimmer Agreen. It's it's a placeholder for Baron. Uh, it's, it's my Baron Apple. Uh, obviously, I'd cut it out for the Baron. It does come up, but if you have a Baron, use a Baron. And then for the fun spots, Number four, uh, Stealth Dragon, because you run the Abyss Shark and you can turn the Abyss Shark into a level four, go into the uh, Stealth Dragon with one of your extenders or your Exceed, and then everything on the field becomes water, and you have a interaction on your opponent's turn, so you can pop something. So Stealth Dragon's great. If you have an excess of number fours, you always want to go into the Bahamut Shark. Bahamut Shark, uh, detach one into the totally, so you have another layer of protection on your opponent's turn, so you can pop off and do your fish sink or something. I can't do the big OTK, I'm not sure. That's so, amazing. I didn't give that That's amazing. Yeah. That is the goatee deck. Shout out to Brandon for this amazing, amazing goatee deck profile here at Dirtbox, TCG. I'm James Hamdon, here on the Rex Hall. Shout out to Mize, little guest commentator with that sexy voice, easy and sexy body. Stay tuned, more Mize, more love. Like, comment, subscribe, share for more. Hit that notification bell, see more videos pop up, twitch.tv slash Facebook, scream, or some Fortnite, some fun stuff. Peace, guys, love, join the Hero Gang, or the Goaty Gang, whatever you want to do. Be a fake person. <laughs>